Hello, this is Mike Thomas. I am here today to teach you about um, renting versus owning. What's better? Is it better to rent? Is it better to own? We're going to crunch some numbers and we're going to find out uh, what it is that uh, we're looking for here. And is renting really cheaper than buying? Let's take a look at the numbers and find out. So what you're seeing here on my screen is the dollar amount that it costs you per month to rent on this side. And across the top, it's year one, two, three, four, five, six, seven across. And what we are looking at is if you rented $2,000 a month for one year, that's $24,000 right there. If you're paying $3,000, it's $36,000. If you're paying four or five, um, we're going to look at this number here, $4,500. If you're paying $4,500 per year, you're spending $54,000 in your first year. $108,000 second year, in your third year, one sixty-two. I hope you really don't go over that because it's a lot of money to be spending. Now, what people are always saying is, um, I don't want a mortgage payment, but a mortgage payment is basically a rent payment. Uh, you are paying a mortgage. Uh, it just may not be your mortgage you're paying. It's probably your landlord's mortgage, taxes, insurance, HOA fees and everything included, and probably a little bit of profit in there for him as well. So let's take a look at uh, how much it does it cost to buy. Here we have on our screen a mortgage calculator, and we see a sales price up here of 575,000, putting down 10%, uh, which is a down payment of 557.50, uh, and with your loan amount 17.5. So 5175, which is the mortgage amount at the current rate of um, 6%. And we are getting 3100 as a mortgage payment, principal and interest only. Now we've estimated some taxes and insurance and HOA fees, uh, which are done monthly. So your monthly taxes would be somewhere around 650. Your insurance about 230 and your HOA fee uh, less than 300 a month. We come up with a total monthly payment with principal interest, insurance, and taxes, and HOA fees of about 50 or 4250. Now that's $250 less than if you were paying $4,500 per month for a you know three, four bedroom house here in the Palm Beach County area. So it is cheaper, according to these numbers, to buy than it is to rent. Um, and what else can you expect? Well, you see this number here in yellow that I've highlighted? Well, that's your yearly interest, as we call it. So in one year, you pay $30,000, uh, almost $31,000 in interest, which is tax deductible. What that means is that if you made $100,000 uh, in a year for the ma mathematics round numbers, you get to deduct $31,000, almost $31,000 from your $100,000 income, which brings you down to about $69,000 of taxable income, which is great to have, but as a renter, you're not getting that at all. So now if you spent Let's do one year only. $54,000 um, of rent. And you could have gotten another 31000 or so, which puts you at uh, $85,000. Um, and let's take a look at some other things. So many people come to me and say, Mike, I want to wait. I want to wait, I want to wait, I want to wait until the interest rates come down. Well, uh, I sold someone a house about a year ago. And he calls me up and says, Mike, how much is my house worth? And I looked it up and I said, wow, $50,000 more than what you paid for it one year ago. Now, buyer number two wanted to wait a year. So now he lost a $50,000 appreciation that he could have had had he bought last year. Uh, on top of the $85,000 that uh, he actually gave away 
uh, the 54,000 here and the 30, almost 31,000 here. And now another 50,000, that's a total of $130,000 loss, opportunity loss in one single year. Uh, to do an interest rate that would probably be, you know, a little bit lower. So let's say the interest rate came down from 5% to 6%. What is really the difference here? Uh, we're looking at eh, 5%, 6%. We're looking at about a $340 difference. And if I pull up my trusty calculator here, and type in about $340 times 12. How much are we looking at? Oops, that's divide. My mistake. Let's correct that. 340 times 12 months. And we are at about $4,000. So what we're talking about is saving $4,000 in one year while we're actually losing uh, $130,000. Now this is Florida in general. It shows how much um, every single month. So by going from one year, we're looking at a 2.1% increase in March, 0% in April, zero in May, zero in June, 0.7% in July, 2% uh, in August, and so on and so forth. Now, if we added up all of these numbers, what we would come up with is over 10% uh, per year of appreciation. And that's the entire state of Florida averaging all single family homes here. But let's take a look at our neck of the wood, all of these counties. Let's take a look to see what's happening here. Uh, and we hit apply. Now, wow, these numbers are incredibly high. Uh, Palm Beach County is very expensive, and every single month we're seeing appreciation over last year. And so, here, here we see a figure of one year, approximately one year, and six fifteen minus. 575. So what you're paying this year for 615,000 would have cost you 575,000 last year. So the loss of appreciation there, uh, we're looking at 25 and 15, uh, 30, $40,000. That's a $40,000 loss of appreciation for the medium homes here uh, medium home values here in Palm Beach County, Florida. Then we can take a look at some other places like Martin County uh, or Miami-Dade County, but we're going to see generally the same thing. And so this video is about, you know, is that one or two percent interest really worth it? I mean, come on, even if the interest rate was down to four percent, you're saving you know, instead of $4,000 a year, $8,000 a year, but even if you're paying the $54,000 here and the and you're not getting the, the loss or, or you're not getting the, the you know, okay, $20,000, okay, 54 and 20 is 75,000-ish. Uh, opportunity loss plus the fifty thousand dollars appreciation uh, to save eight thousand dollars per year. Uh, we're talking about losing somewhere in the neighborhood of about one hundred and twenty thousand dollars, and that does not make sense, folks. Um, I know that the interest rate you believe is high. Uh, actually, if you look at the interest rates throughout history, you'll find out that. Uh, a normal interest rate is somewhere around 7 to 8%. 10% is high, 6% is low. Anything lower than 6% is actually incredible. 3% was unheard of in the history of the United States. Since George Washington crossed the Delaware, we've never had a 3% interest rate. And that was to jumpstart the economy. And now since the economy is jump-started, 
and back on its roll, I don't see interest rates coming back down to those prices. And that's why the federal government is trying to control home values by the interest rate. Um, and that's very important because if they did not do this, what would happen is uh, houses would be so expensive that the common person would not be able to buy a HUD. So there you have it. Um, if you have any questions, please leave me a comment below. If you are in the South Florida region, we do service every, uh, all counties, all five counties from Port St. Lucie, from St. Lucie County, Martin County, Palm Beach County, Broward County, and Miami-Dade County, all the way down to the Florida Keys. So if you're looking in the area, in the neighborhood, and you would like to buy, please give us a call. Uh, our number is at the end of this video, also in the description down below. If you need to contact us regarding some real estate, we are working with builders and other um, sellers to help reduce your closing costs. Uh, last year, we, we actually had uh, most of our buyers paid hardly anything in closing costs. Builders are now giving away uh, some really good opportunities. There's one builder that's giving away $30,000 or closing costs and upgrades or buying down the interest rate. So you can actually buy down that 7% interest rate, you know, down to 6%, maybe even 5%. So those are some opportunities for you to take a look at. Uh, if you have any questions, please give us a call. We'll be more than happy to help you out. Uh, this is Mike Thomas. Have a wonderful day.